Well, I think it's probably better than most people believe it to be just because you have a pretty solid core of position players when you can start with Paul Goldschmidt and A.J. Pollock and then some of the other guys they have like Lamb and Drury and you know younger hitters. Uh, they have a, a pretty good lineup. The question is just going to be, you know, how is Zach Granke going to be? How is Shelby Miller going to come back? Uh, how can Taiwan Walker get over the hump to be a better pitcher? If they can get some pitching, you know, they're not as good as the top teams in the division, but they should be better than they were last season. Taiwan Walker has huge potential, could be a, a top of the rotation starter type, but he's a little bit puzzling, and I think he needed a change of scenery. This is probably a good spot for him. I love Gene Segura. I had him 10th on my MVP ballot this year. He's kind of a hit machine. But, uh, you know, it seemed like the kind of trade where Arizona might do better in the long term and Seattle might benefit more in the immediate future. Fernando Rodney is a guy who is kind of ageless, you know. He didn't fare well in Miami, but uh, he can keep you on the edge of your seat. He's going to walk some guys, uh, go deep in accounts, make the manager pace. He usually finds a way to get out of it. The question is, uh, he's pushing 40 years old, and does he still have enough separation between his fastball and his uh, changeup to be an effective, you know, back end of the bullpen guy? And you know, they obviously think he has a chance to do that. So we'll see.